Uh, my name is Marcella Bailey. I'm the Chief Information Officer for the Hispanic Scholarship Fund, which is based out of Gardena near Los Angeles in California. Previously at Sony, I was the Chief Information Officer for the Sony Pictures Home Entertainment Division, uh, which is part of the Sony Pictures Entertainment uh, Company out based down in Los Angeles. At Sony, one of the, the biggest changes within our industry was that we went from traditional distribution, uh, where we had about 11 uh, distributor partners uh, that basically then sold to retailers and mom and pops. And in the mid-90s, the big shift came to actually do direct-to-retail distribution, which started uh, a, an influx of additional ship to locations, additional uh, products and SKU configurations. So basically the number of transactions that we had to deal with just exploded. And all of these transactions actually started to create a lot of uh, stress on the accounts receivable organization. So as retailers found issues with shipments, as retailers found issues with um, pricing uh, discrepancies on their invoices, uh, what started happening is they started deducting off of their invoice. Um, and it created a lot of uh, deductions within our accounts receivable organization that we had to basically um, prove that either they did receive the product or they did receive the right price. So what prompted the, the need to come up with a deductions management system for the organization was the large volumes of transactions that going direct to re retail created. So as we started shipping direct to stores, uh, the number of endpoints that we shipped to uh, grew, uh, as well as the number of SKU configurations that we needed to invoice grew. Um, our accounts receivable could not keep up with the volume, so we needed to figure out an automated solution to uh, reduce our cash flow cycle. Uh, so our objective was really to improve our aging, improve our AR, improve our collections, um, reduce the number of people that we needed to actually handle this process and do it very easily, simply, fast, and quickly. One of the challenges really was that a lot of the deductions were based on forms. Uh, so a retailer would basically fill out a form uh, and claim a deduction and they would send those forms over to Sony Pictures Home Entertainment who would then have to figure out what was valid and what was not valid. So what ended up happening is the retailers had stacks of deductions and we had stacks of claims on our side that you know two sets of groups really needed to sift through. Both parties wanted a solution. Both parties wanted to figure out a more efficient way to handle this process. So we introduced concepts like EDI uh, and OCR and we introduced more of an automated process to get the deductions into the organization. Uh, what we then needed to figure out is how do then we, do we refute these claims and how do we prove that we actually shipped the product? How do we prove that we actually invoiced the correct price? So that necessi necessitated us uh, to find a solution that could basically pull together the invoice, the packing slip, and the proof of delivery and that is what we used DataServe for. So what attracted me to DataServe is that they had been doing uh, document management, uh, enterprise content management already. Uh, they offered a very quick, uh, easy to ramp up solution. It was cost effective. Uh, the organization was very flexible to adapt to the needs that we had, uh, specific needs that we had within the organization. Um, I felt that it fit the niche that we were looking for and it was also something that we were not going to invest um, a lot of infrastructure, uh, acquire additional software and make those customizations that we needed to do in the time frame that we needed to accomplish. So DataServe became the perfect option for us in uh, 1995 before SaaS was even a word. Um, initially, there was a champion of change. There was a champion within our um, uh, finance organization whose job and mission in life was to improve cash flow for the organization. Uh, so we had a, an exceptional sponsor. Um, that was great for year one. Uh, year two, we had some challenges because um, as other enterprise content management systems became available, off-the-shelf solutions became available, the notion was to have something that was in-house that was enterprise, that could solve problems for other divisions as well, and we had a one-size-fits-all mentality uh, where if we wanted to introduce it, it was something that all the divisions then needed to adopt to the new standard. 
Um, so the challenge wasn't, um, wasn't immediate, um, but over time I would get you know, people from our enterprise group coming through and asking me, Marcel, why don't you join the enterprise content management? And I would say, I'd love to join the enterprise content management solution if you could meet our requirements. These are our specific requirements. We would love to explore the possibility. I would then let DataServe know, all right, DataServe, we're going to be replacing you in a year. So uh, just wanted to let you know. And, and year after year after year, uh, we've never been able to actually solve the problem internally um, at, the, at the cost that DataServe has um, with the level of customer service, uh, with the level and degree of integration, customization, um, the ability to actually um, solve the, the, the business problem that we set out to solve. Um, and continue to, to do that as effectively as we, able, we were able to do. So we basically took our collection cycle down. Uh, very, it, it, you know, just amazingly, about 45%. Uh, in addition, we were actually able to collect on about $200 million of outstanding receivables in a very efficient way. Um, and we were able to do that and uh, basically refute a lot of the claims to our retailers within a day whereas before it would take weeks, but because of the huge backlog, it really took six to nine months to be able to refute any of the claims that were, that were, that were in-house and that had been aging. I think our retailers uh, just became to re realize that we became very efficient at the collections process. Um, and we were actually then able, were able to shift the discussion with the retailers on other non-administrative types of conversations. So how do we grow the business? How do we transform the business? How, we do, how do we build the relationship versus consuming our salespeople with collections, calls, and follow-ups, and things like that? Basically eliminated the salespeople from having to follow up with the customers directly uh, on behalf of the accounts receivable organization. So I think that's a huge win for both parties. Um, you know, being efficient was probably not as beneficial to the retailer as they would probably uh, would hope, but I think it creates really good solid partnerships where uh, we can create efficiencies on both organizations, streamline their operations, uh, work with their IT organization to introduce EDI, um, eliminate a lot of their own printing and paperwork, um, and, and create a much more efficient process all around. Uh, and then we were able to introduce a lot of those efficiencies as well with our distribution partners um, and create just much more streamlined operations logistically um, within the entire organization. I think SaaS should always be an option um, in, in, the, in the options being considered. If a company is evaluating a SaaS option, I think uh, each organization, because their processes or business needs are very different, uh, they should really understand where their biggest opportunities are, um, assess what they have internally, um, and give, give a SaaS option an opportunity to, to bid on the project. Um, evaluate what's your total cost to serve. Um, do you have to bring in infrastructure? Do you have to bring in a development team? Do you have to bring in a business analyst team to do the configuration? Or can you just outsource that to a vendor who can actually do all of that for you? Um, and you know, again, what is, that, what is that niche that that SaaS solution is trying to provide? And is there um, a company out there that can actually fit that need? I think for me, um, DataServe really stands out because they've actually been able to grow with Sony Pictures. They've been able to evolve. Um, they've been able to adapt their own solution to what we need. So we've, we've grown from doing accounts receivable to actually then storing our purchase orders uh, that customers send us as well with them uh, to accounts payable workflow. So I think it's important to find a partner that will be willing to grow with you and evolve as your, your business needs um, start to shift. Um, I think the other really important element is to um, identify someone who will be service oriented. Um, a lot of times with vendors that I work with, um, you know, they like selling in the product and then you never hear from them or see them ever again until occasionally they want to sell something else or another bolt-on. I think one of the key things that's really kept um, us very engaged with DataServe and um, I think they're very, very um, good at making sure that both the IT organization and the business organization are always kept informed as to what both parties need. And that way it keeps you know, our own internal organi uh, organization coordinated. Um, but they also provide that service and that high touch that's really important in a vendor.